Hello and welcome. I am Mel and this is Sweet Lily Bug and we are so happy that you are here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to properly perform a reclined bound angle pose, also known as Supta Baddha Konasana. This is a beautiful posture to really help support you in that prenatal journey. So let's go ahead and begin. I first want to uh, let you know that if you do have any uh, groin or knee issues, you may want to avoid this pose. Safety first, always. The other thing that's very important in this posture is to make sure that you have all of the support of the props that you need. So for today, I am going to use these two bolsters and two blocks. For you, you may also want to incorporate um, yoga blankets. You may want to roll up and fold some yoga mats, use regular blankets around the house, regular pillows, whatever it is that you have, definitely incorporate. Okay, so for today, I'm going to start by placing these yoga blocks into a ramp position and that's what's really going to give me that nice recliner pose. So we have the block down uh, kind of horizontal here to the mat and then on the lower setting and then the next one we're going to bring to that highest setting and I'm really forming a T shape here with these blocks. Now that we have our blocks in the T position let's go ahead and build our ramp. What I'm going to do is take one of the bolsters here and I'm gonna gently place it on top of the blocks. All right, just like that, a nice inclined position. Now what I'm going to do is turn around and walk my seat to where the low back meets the bottom of the bolster. It's very important here that we support that low back. Now, I'm 23 weeks pregnant, so I'm gonna walk you through a couple of options. If this is comfortable for you, you're welcome to go ahead and roll down to where the spine will meet the back. For me, I need a little bit more support today and it's always important for you to continue to check in with your body and what you need as every day will be completely different. All right, so Lily's getting comfy there, so let's get comfy with her. So I'm gonna take those feet flat to the floor, bending the knees, and now I'm gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time until my back meets the bolster. This feels great. Now, there's a couple of additional things. If you have any of the groin issues, knee issues, you can remain here. If not, I welcome you to bring the soles of the feet together. The knees can fall wide. Now, since this is a restorative pose, we don't wanna create any tension in the body. So what I'm going to do is bring this bolster close by. And as I'm in this position, I'm going to gently rest my elbow and forearm along with my knee on the bolster. If you do not have bolsters, you can use yoga blocks under the knees, under the elbows, you can stack up blankets, whatever it is that you need to support you is what is most important here. So another thing that I really enjoy about this pose is I love that it really stimulates those organs here. It creates the calmness and uh, anxiety relief that we need here. Um, if you don't wanna have your hands by your side, I personally enjoy in this pose connecting with my breath and taking this time to connect with baby. So I'll place my palms on the belly here and focus on those breaths and just energetically communicate with the baby. There's so many options here to really enjoy this beautiful restorative pose for you. All right, my friend, if you have any additional questions on this pose, please let me know. I'm here to help support you in any capacity. And again, this is an excellent, excellent restorative pose for you to incorporate to help support you in your prenatal yoga journey. Again, I am Mel. Thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you so soon.